There once was a woman named Mary, who was visited by an angel who told her that she was going to have a son by the power of God. This baby would not only be a gift to Mary, but to everyone. This baby is Jesus, and he is God's gift to the whole world. Miss Alicia here with Words of Life Kids Church and it's Christmas time. We're so excited boys and girls to celebrate the holidays with you and did you just enjoy that video on the Christmas story? I know it was so wonderful and we're going to talk about that in story time today because we're going to read the Christmas story, my first nativity book. Long ago, a young girl named Mary lived in the town of Nazareth. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. One day, God sent the angel Gabriel to talk to Mary. At first, she was scared, but Gabriel said, Do not be frightened. You have been chosen by God to have a baby named Jesus. He will be God's son. Soon it was nearly time for Mary to have her baby, but Mary and Joseph needed to make a long and difficult journey to Bethlehem to pay their taxes. Mary rode on the donkey and Joseph walked beside her. See, this is Mary here on the donkey and Joseph, her husband. Bethlehem was crowded, dirty, and noisy. Mary and Joseph needed a place to stay, but at every inn, the story was the same. No room. See, no room here. I don't have room. Sorry. Mary was so tired. At last, a kindly innkeeper showed them the stable where he kept his animals. They were welcome to stay there, he said. Mary and Joseph were very happy to have found a place to rest at last. That night, in the stable, Mary gave birth to her son. She wrapped the baby Jesus in strips of cloth to keep him warm. See the baby Jesus and all the animals in the stable. Mary gently laid her baby in a manger, which usually held animals' food. Mary and Joseph watched over Jesus and all the animals in the stable gathered around them. That same night, on a hillside overlooking Bethlehem, shepherds were watching over their sheep. Suddenly, they saw a bright light in the sky and an angel sent by God appeared, bathed in a golden glow. The shepherds shook with fear. Do not be afraid, said the angel. I bring you great news. The Son of God has been born. You will find the baby laying in a manger in Bethlehem. Then the sky was filled with angels singing. Once the angels had left, the shepherds set off to Bethlehem to find the baby. See all the shepherds and the sheep? And look at how many angels, and they were blowing trumpets and singing. Far away in the east, three wise men spotted a new star shining high in the sky. These men studied the stars, and they knew that this one was very special. It meant that a great new ruler had been born. They decided to go look for him. See the three wise men here? And they looked at this big, brilliant, bright star. The three wise men prepared for their long journey to find baby Jesus, who lay in the stable in Bethlehem. They wore gold crowns on their heads and dressed in fine gowns. They prepared gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, 
bright light of the new star in the sky guided the wise men on their journey. It was a night of joy and celebration. The newborn baby Jesus lay sleeping in the manger. Mary and Joseph watched over him and animals gathered close by. The shepherds knelt down and worshiped the baby Jesus and the wise men arrived on camels bearing gifts. All the while the bright new star twinkled in the sky. See the wise men with their gifts and all the shepherds and the animals kneeling down worshiping the baby Jesus. And if you look right inside, you see the baby Jesus laying in a manger looking at his parents, Mary and Joseph. Wasn't that a great story, boys and girls? That was so much fun. I hope you have the merriest, merriest Christmas. Take some time to worship Jesus on Christmas and say, Happy Birthday, Jesus. You know, we love you here at Words of Life. We can't wait to see you. And we just wish you a merry, merry Christmas.